Okay, I got another um, piece here for uh, the AR. I, I almost want to call it the AR bill, but <clears throat> I think that's an overused term. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. And yeah, hopefully you can see that. All right, so unfortunately, I don't know if you can hear Trevor, my dog in the background, uh, there's a little boys, little boy and little girl outside playing uh, in our yard, and he can see them, so he, he wants to go out there and play with them. Anyway, believe it or not. Okay, so this is aluminum, and okay, so here comes the one, there's the one, it looks like a gas pin. Okay. Now that's, okay, so that's interesting. There's only one, you can see it. Alright, so, this is for the, um, gas tube that comes out here and I'm not too sure because I can see the hole in here up in here <clears throat> so this mounts on the AR uh, in place of the um, A2 uh, iron sights and you've got two uh, screws here for tightening down onto the barrel and uh, I, I went with this particular model because I really I did not want to have a quad sort of setup on the outside of it. I, I wanted it to be you know kind of slender because I already have a quad rail for the foregrip. But I did want to be able to have the option of putting this butt up against the quad rail that I had uh, foregrip and having flip up sights. And it kind of gives that a little bit of a an extension to the top mounted quad rail and then also there's a bottom one so if I wanted to um, mount the flashlight underneath I could do that here so I hope you can see that hey YouTube I've got my uh, stag arms uh, upper here um, and one of the things that I wanted to do was replace the uh, standard um, M4 um, sight on here and I was going to go ahead and put on a um, gas block that did not have a sight on it and I was going to mount flip up uh, sights on it um, some of the uh, Magpul, Magpul excuse me, uh, flip up sights and I was going to do away with the, the rear carry handle because as you can see it's it's a removable one, detachable one, whatever you want to call it so I'm going to do a Quick little uh, video on that, placing this in. So, stand by. <laughs> wow, what a pain in the ass. Getting off, I don't know if any of you have ever tried to get one of these things off. Man, I tell you, it is, they are pinned on, and what a pain uh, in the ass to get them off. Um, the, uh, yeah, I'll show you over here. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the ends of these. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to say uh, this is the uh, manufacturer of the pin punch set, set. Do not get these. They suck. Um, so, if you're going to get punches, and, it, and I'm sure there's probably gunsmiths right now laughing at me. <laughs> but don't get that punch set because they were pretty much useless and these are the two uh, I don't want to say uh, buggers or rascals or I have some other choice words for them but I don't want to say it but i um, trying to get these out of these two holes here you can see I kind of mutilated this one over here a little bit had to take a little bit of a dremel to it and get it off well anyway got that off and um, took the um, um, Muzzle brake off. I'm going to put my uh, claymore on there. So I'm going to put this on real quick. And so when I come back, you'll see it on. Okay, so I finally got replaced the uh, front A1 side. I, I, I might have said A2 side, but um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyway, I had, a, I had a, a hard time getting it off. And also, I had another hard time. I don't know if you can see it or not, 
but I had a hard time with this. Um, I think it's the uh, UTG or something like that. I'll, I'll make an annotation to it. Putting this um, back on because <clears throat> it has screws and it's aluminum and they, they just didn't line up right. And I, I think I might have jacked it up when the first time I put it on and um, uh, cross-threaded it a little bit. Here's the bottom of it. Here's the top of it. And um, as you can see, I'm hoping um, put the flip up sight. I'm a little disappointed. I, I was really hoping that this would all line up, but mm, no, not so much. <laughs> anyway, so then I've got my um, Troy Industries uh, Claymore on it, and the reason why I got this is, I don't know if you can see in there, hopefully that shows up in the light. Supposedly, uh, other than the uh, nice uh, ragged edge there for a nice uh, face gouge um, you it supposedly directs the force forward so if you're laying in sand um, and with a, a regular muzzle brake with it facing down um, it kicks up dirt and, and it reveals your location supposedly that's one one thing but also it shoots the force supposedly forward so I'm gonna try it out and see see how it is I always got to try out make sure that I <laughs> that I've got the gas block and the tube lined up correctly because uh, what I read is that sometimes when you put some of these on that it's very difficult to line the tube, the hole, and the barrel up. So that's something to take into consideration. I'll find out um, at the range and you guys will find out if I don't come back. <laughs> so um, anyway, so let me just put that all together. Hold on. Okay, so here you get to see the finished result. Okay, and uh, so new uh, trigger guard, new fore-end grip, and uh, replacement gas block. Um, I also, I have another video, I'm not too sure if I'm, if I placed it in front of this or if I'm going to place it behind, but um, I got a flashlight and a laser um, from UTG, and that's the same company I got this from, so um, I still, still may switch this out for like a Magpul or something even maybe even lighter with a maybe only one um, uh, rail system on it so anyway thanks YouTube for watching